Привет. Меня зовут Назар. Самое важное для меня — это свобода. Я свободен в своем творчестве, в самовыражении. И я очень люблю жизнь. Здесь я вырос. Стал тем, кем я есть. В Украине было не всегда просто. Привет, чучупца, чашка, мама, YouTube channel. Ди, я да справедаю, свива фифетхи домки, протону на вити музыкантив. Си ху си ху свиту, як в домах, так и мама домах артистив. Я описаю вам, что новина публика, что вы не будете расчерно в инициациям. Приеднайте с моего канала, да бы плесметис. Да бы кривай, да разом зимнуру, да бы новичных артистов. My next reaction of today, I'm going back to Dorish channel, because, oh my gosh, it's this amazing channel. And I am going to, like I said, once again, leave all these details down below, because he deserves more than 34,000 subscribers. He really does. I'm going to read a little bit about this. It says, by this video, I want to appeal to everyone who is able to see the beauty, who is in search of a new feeling, unforgettable emotions, and those who are in search of a wonderful and fabulous beauty um, places. I have been involved in this quest for a long time. But now only I have realized that the search for the beauty does not lie in the ability to travel far and in expensive ways. Ukraine is a separate world that has everything within it. Thick centuries old forests, wise and um, monumental mountain ranges, mysterious gorges, spacious valleys, wide and noisy rivers, as well as crystal clear lakes. I just want to say, come to Ukraine, enjoy our hospitality, landscape, wonderful climate, and create yourself one of the most memorable ventures in your life. Come on. Now, what he's just there explained, what in Danny's description page just there, is what I felt when I reacted to, when I first started reacting to Ukrainian artists, uh, Onik, uh, Onika, it, it just came fresh in my mind. There was this kind of water advert um, promoting water, and I believe Onika um, collaborated with the Habaka, uh, and there was a number of other artists in there as well. And it, what happened was there was in some there was in a forest valley, and they made certain instruments that that um, that when Mother Nature interacted with this particular interest, i.e. whether it was a water flying or wind blowing or trees, it created these noise, uh, amazing sounds. And uh, even, though every, even though the invention of these instruments, like when the river was hitting this kind of, um, this wood that hit something else, it created this lovely sound. I was looking at the nature. I was looking at mother nature. I was looking at how crystal clear the river was. I was looking at how, the, how green the forest was. I was, looking at, I was looking at the mountains. I thought, wow, because I am a camping person. I love to go, whatever country I go to, the first thing I want to do is A, go to the mountains to see the world and go on a hiking to see the forest. Then go and see um, historic values in there. But mainly it's when it comes to nighttime to look up into the stars and see like, wow. To know I am a, I am a nature lover. I really am at heart, and it, the sceneries and location just blew my mind away. I was like, "What?" And that's when I was so my mind was so small and naive because that was before I realized uh, before I was told that Ukraine is the largest country in Europe. I didn't know that, and a lot of Europeans would not know. I guarantee you now. I can walk down the street. I say, "What is the largest country in Europe?" I guarantee you they won't know. I guarantee you they say something crazy. I guarantee you. I know it sounds crazy, right? Yeah. But that's how much it's, it's, it's kind of worrying that historic values, when we thought is learned at school, is not really learned that much. We should know, as of being Europeans, Europeans should know at least the minimum of three other languages rather than just the one. You know, it should be like, you know, I guess at school we've turned how to speak German and French, but we didn't really, and, and Spanish, but we didn't really take it seriously. And I don't think the teachers took it seriously. I think it was just one of those curriculums that you had to just tick off, but no one, but everybody knew that they wasn't really great at it, you know? So I think it needs to be taken more seriously. 
But look, I'm blabbering on way too much. Look, four minutes, and this thing's only three and three minutes from twenty. Apologies, sorry, sorry. And I even press the play button. I'm really, I'm truly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's go straight into my reaction, shall we? So, without further ado, you know what we're here for? Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Привет. Меня зовут Назар. Самое важное для меня это свобода. Я свободен в своем творчестве, самовыражении. Look at that! Oh, come on! That's brilliant. You don't mind that, is don't you? And we're only starting our journey. Come on! My name is Nazar. And I'll show you my home. Look! Come on! There should be many films made out in, in Ukraine. Visual said more <laughs> than it, it was explained in the description page. Everything was a wow factor. And I'm sure once you see it for yourself without me being in the corner thinking, you know, saying, wow, look at that, because I can't help it. It's, it was wow, look at that. It was wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. And I've always been told and always been shown. I have reacted to many music reactions where they show the locations in Ukraine and they are beautiful. And it's only a handful of reactions that I've done where you've seen the landscape of Ukraine. And it is still every single one of those um, reactions that I've done, it, it has the wow factor. It's as simple as that. My, I, I keep on saying it, my dream, I mean, like, my first thing will be go camping there's a lot of people that know that and there's a lot of people that will join me um to go camping and the more the merrier exactly when i when it's time don't worry i will send out the largest message ever on every kind of social media platform that i have to come and join me and we will select the destination of where to camp and 
the more the merrier. We'll just have a camping festival somewhere. Do you know? I promise you that will happen. That is my first, my, that's, that's what I want my first experience to be when I go over to Ukraine is to go camping with, with as many people who have heard of me, who know me, who watch my, uh, my reactions and we just chill, man. You know, I just talk. That will be my, my first, that, that is my first thing that I'm, I want to do, that I'm going to do. It shall be done. <laughs> But until then, I salute you. Boom.